Hello, I am live. <laughs> um, I really felt like coming here today and um, coming live, which I haven't done for a long time. In fact, a few months ago, I was writing how fearful I was of making videos and how I'd get in front of the camera and just block. But um, something happened and um, maybe it was uh, connected to um, a call. I participated on a call and a program, seven day program that is called Embrace Your Purpose by Karina. I forget her surname now. And we did a, a, a group call uh, yesterday and she did a clearing. And I don't know if it was that, but before I fell asleep last night, I had a really intense coughing fit. So something was being released in my throat. And this morning, I was I thought, I'm going to do this. I need to commit to coming live. Um, so hello. <laughs> uh, hello and welcome to whoever shows up on the live and whoever gets to watch this. Um, the reason why I feel I felt like coming here today was I've actually been thinking about doing lives and f doing videos for quite some time. So the reason why I complained that I couldn't do it was because I wanted to do it. I felt the calling, but I just, um, every time I came in front of the camera, the words would stop, I would freeze. So here, here I am. Um, why do I want to, to, to share something with you today? It's to do with a book that I'm writing. And it's to do with a sample of that book that I've created as an offer. And so I want to talk a little bit about this. Um, the book is called Coloring with My Inner Child. And I wanted to share a little bit of how the idea came about. I've been wanting, I've got several titles for books in my head already. I have two others. <laughs> and... Um, I was listening to a podcast. Um, it's called Courage Makers. In fact, on Monday, I'm going to be interviewed for that podcast. So that's going to be fun too. <laughs> and I was listening to the episodes and there's quite a few. There's a hundred and a few episodes and I just started listening. I just heard about this. And um, I decided to choose the episodes randomly with numbers. And so I chose number 44 to start with. And that actually inspired me to write that um, blog post, uh, I Am Fat. So that was really inspiring. And then at some point I listened to number 77 and it's um, someone called, let me see if I get the name right, Hazel Catherine Larkin. And she's written about um, her childhood sexual abuse. And on that particular podcast, she was uh, talking about her experience and her life and just a lot of stuff, a lot of information. And at some point in the podcast, she mentions how um, during her healing process, she at some point really felt like coloring. And she went and bought one of those adult coloring books. And um, she just thought, oh, I just can't do it. It's too um, detailed. It's, got, it's too small. And I need something big or something that I just don't, I'm not afraid of messing up or... And again, these are, you know, I'm not sure these exact words, but this is what I got from it. And um, uh, so she, she was saying this, she was sharing this, and she decided to go and buy a coloring book for five-year-olds. And she loved it. She loved it because it was much bigger. And as she shares this, all of a sudden, I literally got like hit by this idea that uh, the artwork that I make, that I've been making now for a few years, is quite big. It's quite big, bold, um, uh, how can I say, uh, shapes. And so I just, all of a sudden, I just felt this idea that, I had, that that's the book I had to write. <laughs> and uh, the title came, came very soon after. And all of a sudden, I was in a flurry of of um, being busy uh, scanning or uh, actually redoing some of my artwork because I color in most of them. So redoing it in black and white so that I could um, put it on um, uh, on a um, uh, um, computer file. I don't know what to call it now. <laughs> and all of a sudden the idea came and I put it, um, and I put the sample very quickly um, for, because I wanted to, to just, very soon, I wanted to just provide this experience to people, to just offer this 
to people already. Now, this book isn't particularly, the book that I'm writing and the sample isn't particularly focused for people with traumas, but it can be a really healing experience for anyone who's experienced a childhood trauma or any kind of trauma. But I want this book to be for anyone, for everyone. So the, the sample is just a, an 11 page kind of um, little taster of what the big book, <laughs> I'm gonna call it the big book is gonna be about, which I'm working on, which I'm really connecting to trusting, to trust, uh, that, and that I'm getting the right information and it's going to come together. So I want to talk a little bit about this ri writing the book. I've started. It's like a start and stop process. I, I know that I can easily get stuck because I will be thinking of the future of like, how am I going to print this? Is Will anyone want to read it? And I've decided I needed to stop that. And it's like, oh, this, this makes no sense. I've got nothing to say. But in fact, um, it's um, I've just been getting, I've been trusting the process and I've been getting gently information about what the book is about. And um, I was participating in a group, another group <laughs> that's called The Magical Portal, ran by Nicola Humber. And she, um, and it was about writers, women, women writers mostly, but, 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 but about the process of writing and different women for the whole month shared their process of writing. And it was amazing. For me, it was like a massive permission slip. It was like, oh my God, there's so many. And I, someone summarized it really well. It's like, there is no right way of writing a book as there is no wrong way of writing a book. So uh, it really felt like I finally had, yes, Pelagia, it's okay, you can write a book. Anyone can write a book and you can write a book. So that felt really good. And um, also kind of uh, following a, 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 another live call um, Nicola provided, she guided us at the end to speak to our book because um, in her opinion and what she teaches, and supports writers is um, the bo books have an energy. They have something to say. And um, so just talk to it and ask questions. And so I asked, and one of the things that it felt really important for me or for that energy of that, um, <laughs> of that, um, of this book is that I need to honor my inner child. It's like make her the most important uh, person. Um, in the book, the most important character, the most important provider. She already has helped me with all the artwork that I do. I used to be a prolific art maker as a child, I heard recently, and my mom and the people in the at school didn't know what to do with so much work. <laughs> and so I feel like I've connected to it through art making, and I want to this book to um, honor this this child, my, my child self, but also help you to connect to your child self. Um, in terms of honoring my child self, I have, I first I thought, um, I thought that um, maybe I need, it needed to be a happy book, like only positive. Um, but my childhood and my childhood's child's experience wasn't happy all the time. I had happy moments. But I also had incredibly sad, scary, really scary and horrible, horrible moments. And so I feel that um, this book has to, and, and the way it honors my inner child is that it's going to talk both about the joy and the pain. So the, 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 the lightness and the darkness. It's, um, it's going to be having a little bit of my story, of the story of, that, of, my, of my child. And, um, and experiences of pain and experiences of joy, because she's made of both. I'm made of both. You're made of both. <laughs> and our pain may be different, but it doesn't mean that it's any, that my pain is better than yours or any less than yours. We just experience, it's our individual experience. So there's no comparison. And therefore, whatever it is, that is painful for you is valid. And what is painful for me 
is also valid. So yeah, this book is coming together and it's going to have like a mixture. I'm looking because I've made a few, a few notes. <laughs> um, so it's going to have a mixture of joy and pain. And I don't know exactly know how it's all going to come together, but it, it is coming together. Then I wanted to mention a little bit about art making. Why also, you know, not only in this book, I want you to, to, to also experience what I've experienced. The, the, my experience with connecting with my inner child is, has been like, uh, like I, I've, I've said it before. It's like I've resisted the inner child work for a long time. But I find when I finally did it, I can see the benefits because basically all the things that I can just allow her to talk, I allow, I can allow her to express herself. I can allow her to express her joy and her sadness and everything and all aspects, but I also can have a conversation with her and I can explain things and I can really love her and say the things that I long to hear as a child. And I've noticed, and I've recently written a post called, I am, I was born to be a mother and it's, I'm mothering myself. I'm par parenting myself in these um, moments where I connect to my inner child. And they are, um, they have been really blissful, um, painful. <laughs> But also really, because I can, you know, the more I give love to my inner child, the more loved I feel in my adult self. And it's wonderful. And I, I, I you know, I'd like um, other people to also benefit from this. So that's one aspect. But the other aspect is coloring is such a... Um, it's such a simple way of doing art and it, and and it's also like it's got so many beautiful benefits first you're expressing yourself and i i will do another video about expression i i think it's incredibly important for us to express ourselves not only again express all our varieties all of us um of who we are so both the joy and the pain so again the light and the darkness all of them are here to be seen to be experienced to be witnessed and that is incredibly healing so when and I've, i think i lost myself here a little bit but um so this is about expression and art making art is something that for me i found incredibly healing it is healing because when i'm making art i am simply just so focused on the moment i'm very present I'm focused in the moment and I've created this um, technique, which is like just doing intuitive pay, pay, you know, um, created as an experimented with it, created this. I just use my intuition to choose the colors. And, um, and in this sample book, I guide you a little bit of how you can do it. I just, sometimes it's just the words we use, but it's very simple. It's really simple. <laughs> and so um, when we stop and stay in the moment, when we are just lost in coloring or doing or drawing, um, something happens inside of us. There's, there's this incredible, for me, it's incredible, peaceful. It's very meditative. It's like it's experiencing meditation in a way that it's not, uh, how can this, so it's healing and meditation in a way that it doesn't necessarily have an intention to do so. You're just doing something with your hands. And it's really, I found it really therapeutical. And so that's the other aspect of this book and also of the sample. Um, and again, sometimes we just need to slow down and coloring is a great way of slowing down. Um, so I just want to also to share you a little bit the, the book. I'm going to show you what it's about. So the cover is this one, which I've shown you uh, before. And this artwork is a, a piece of artwork that I, I didn't know this word, but there's this word called sovereignty. Uh, I used to just call this, um, this artwork, I am the queen of my own world. <laughs> but that's what sovereignty, being sovereign means. And so I, this is, I chose this particular one because it just brings me a lot of joy because it's got so many colors. And again, I didn't plan it. This all came out and it looks awesome, but also because it's about us um, ad gaining sovereignty as adults. So that's the cover. I have, um, 
I then just like do a little bit of introduction, welcoming you into them, you know, and and just um, and hoping that you have fun. And then I take you through a journey of how to choose the the material, how to choose the material, how to choose the colors, and there's some guidance and some very clear steps. Sorry, I don't know of how to start coloring in. And I invite you to have fun, let go and immerse yourself in a just a simple world because, oh my God, is there anything so as simple as just sitting down with a bunch of colors and just coloring in? You want simplicity in your life? There's something you can do for simplicity. <laughs> so some of the drawings that I have, I have five drawings. That's the first one. I really love it. So you can see the big, bold shapes. You don't have the punch holes. This is just the paper I printed in. Um, and you can just do what you want. And if you like detail, you can just add detail, add detail to it. It's great fun. So this is another one it's full of um, beautiful, bold shapes. And this is the other one I have. And then some smaller ones. They're mandala-like. I don't know if you can see it properly. And the final one has a bit more detail, but I'm hoping that you also get to enjoy it. And um, yes, so it's just like, it's just the start. It's an introduction. And it's an introduction to how the book is going to be about. Um, it's, it's very light to start with. <laughs> it's very playful, I hope, that you'll enjoy you know, my words about it. And um, yes, and like, I would really love for you to, um, for you to, 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 to do your coloring in and to share it with me. I'd love to see the results of um, what came up for you. What colors did you feel um, called to use and the results of your, of your work? I would love to see it. So please uh, share it either individually or on my page. There's like, you can be a guest, uh, um, you can do a guest post on my, on my Facebook page. And so how can you get this sample? It's very easy. You sign up for my newsletter. So you can either go to my website and like in the front page, there's like an option for you to, to sign in. Or I've put on the comments a link to just signing up for my newsletter. Now, um, the newsletter, I only really send something once a month. And, and this is new. I'm committing to it because <laughs> I really haven't been sending much. So I'm committing to send a, a newsletter once a month. And that's it. And, I, you know, that's that's all that I'll, I'll be doing um, with that. So um, I think that's it. I really hope that um, I get to hear from you. I love interactions <laughs> and uh, receiving feedback. For me, it's a way of receiving love. So it's great. And who doesn't want to be loved? I certainly want to be loved and feel loved. So, and I hope that um, you get to also feel loved with interactions that, um, with me and also with the things that I offer to the world. So I think I'm just going to finish, have a beautiful rest of the day and a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you for maybe more lives soon. Bye.